fellow booktubers. My name is Lauren, you're watching Dreams Books Courage, and today is of course Top 5 Wednesday, this one being Top 5 Rereads. And this Top 5 was actually pretty hard for me to figure out which ones are my Top 5 because I do not really reread very many books. Even with my favorites, I don't really reread them very often because whenever I read a story, I don't want to read that story again very soon because I just feel like that makes that story less special to me, which I know is a very weird thing to say. But I honestly feel like that, and that's why I don't really reread my books very often. But I did end up finding five books that I have reread, so let's go ahead and get into those books. So, in my fifth place spot is a book that I haven't read in a very, very long time, and it is A Dog Called Kitty by Bill Wallace. I think I've read this book three times, which is pretty easy because it is quite a short novel. But I really enjoyed reading it and I don't know why because I know this book is so so sad and I've cried every single time I've read it. And although I do not remember very much of what I read, I just remember the feelings that I had after I ended this book. I definitely read this book three times within elementary school and the reason why I probably read it so many times was just because I loved animals so so much. Not like I don't now but I just loved them so much whenever I was really little and I even wanted to be a vet when I was little so it definitely makes sense as to why I would read Read this book. In my fourth place spot is a book that was definitely one of my junior high favorites and that is The Click by Lacey Harrison. This series features something like 19 books in the series which is completely crazy to me but I read every single one of them and I've read quite a few of them twice but I just know that I read this novel specifically two or three times and I just love this book. I don't know what it is about it. It's a story about four mean girls and they are known as the pretty committee and everyone loves them. They're rich and pretty and really everything's just wonderful in their lives. And then this girl named Claire messes up everything for the pretty committee whenever she moves into the head of the clique's house whose name is Massey. And she's nothing like anything that the pretty committee deals with. She's not rich and she just isn't like them and so immediately they are just so so mean to her. Over time of course they all end up being close friends and then Clara becomes part of the pretty committee and I don't know why I enjoyed this series so much. I think it was because a lot of it had to do with fashion and designers and I absolutely love fashion and so I just had a wonderful time reading these books and I actually think this series is the one that got me into loving fashion. And my third place spot is obviously another book that I absolutely love. And I've talked about this book quite a bit in my recent videos, so I won't talk too long about it, but it is In Car by Cornelia Funk. I would say this is probably more of a middle grade fantasy series, but I just really enjoy this trilogy. And more than anything, I just love that the main characters within these books just love reading as much as I do, and they're just always surrounded by books. And then they magically enter a book, which is another world of fantasy altogether. And I just love the concept of the series so much. Cornelia Funk is an amazing writer and I would definitely consider reading this book once again. In my second place spot I actually have a trilogy and it is The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I just love these books and I plan on rereading them once again right before Mockingjay Part 2 comes out. These books are just such a wonderful dystopian series. They're really what got me into reading dystopians and they just changed the way I look at the government and society and just so many things. These books are just such a powerful story and they just have so much symbolism and it is just such an amazing series. I would definitely recommend all of you go out and read the series. I'll leave a link to my Mockingjay movie discussion down below but these books are just so good. I can't even tell you how good they're just amazing and I can't wait until I read this series once again. The book in the first place spot should come as no surprise. It is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And I read this book almost exactly a year before the movie came out. I didn't even know the movie was in the works at that point in time. I just love watching John and Hank Green's YouTube channel, which is Vlogbrothers. And then I found out that John Green actually writes books. And this book is probably his most well-known at this point in time. So I read it in June of 2013. And then June of this year, I read it once again right before I saw the movie. And of course, I love this book just as much the second time around. This is my favorite book of all time, and John Green is also my favorite author. And so it just makes sense that this book is actually in my first place. And I think I'm going to probably be reading this book every June of the upcoming years just because it feels like it's becoming a tradition for me and I just love this book so much. Even though it makes me cry, it also makes me laugh and swoon and it just makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love to know down below what your favorite reread of all time is. And as always, I'm going to go get back to reading.